Polybase has been enhanced in SQL Server 2019. With Polybase, uh, we can grab data from different data sources like SQL Server, Oracle, Hadoop, Azure Blob Storage, and another source. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Polybase to grab data from the Oracle database. And uh, this is Oracle 11G in Windows. And uh, I'm going to create a users and a table and then um, using the Polybase to grab data from this one. Okay, so let's create the user first. Let's call it user1. The password will be used in the credential in the SQL Server Polybase. So the user is created, and uh, then I grant the permission. You don't have to give the DBA permission privilege, but uh, this is just as XML. Now I'll create a table and insert a one row in this table. Commit the transaction. Okay, all done in the in the in the Oracle set. Let's go back to the SQL Server, and um, this is uh, a SQL Server 2019 in Windows. And the first step is to you need to open the configuration manager. Make sure you have these two services running. Else you can't do anything without these two services. So then um, enable the polybase feature. Oops, let me open new session. Okay, enable the feature and uh, create a user database. We will create the external table in this user database, then create a master a master key. The next step is to create a database scope credential. The identity is the, is the user we just created in the Oracle database and the secret is the password of the user of this user. Next step is to create an external data source. The location is um, this is IP address of the Oracle server. This is IP address of Oracle server I show you right now. So this is the IP address, and um, this is the credential we just created here. Now let's create it. So the final step is I created the external table. It will the location is the ORC and the credential and the Sorry, not credential, it's the username and the table name. Okay, all good. Then I can select a table from SQL Server and the Polybase engine will grab data from the Oracle set. So this is a row I just inserted into the Oracle table. I can also, if they are new updated in the Oracle, I can grab new data. Let me show you. So I'll create another row here. Let's do it to max. Max then then this. Commit. Okay. So you see, oh, grab it. And uh, if you open the databases, you will find the, let me refresh. Tables and uh, external tables. This is the one I just created. Okay, that's all. Hope you enjoyed this, enjoyed this video. Thanks, bye.